singing a song as we go along, walking in the window in the land. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Four Christmases. Four Christmases stars Vince Vaughn, Reese Witherspoon, Robert Duvall, and John Favreau. And this film is directed by Seth Gordon, who directed the film Horrible Bosses, of course, later on. Before I do get to my review for Four Christmases, my guest star, Stupid Beetle Reviews, aka Nate, is going to be reviewing this film as well as giving you the overall plot synopsis of the movie. So, Nate. Take it away. Hello everybody on Tony's channel, aka the 22 Tiger Dude channel. I am Nate from the Stupid Beagle Reviews channel. You can check out my channel if you want, but right now I'm here to review a really crappy Christmas movie with Tony because he wanted me to do it. And of all Christmas movies I could have reviewed, I reviewed this one, which is probably one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen. Ha. Thanks, Tony. This movie is basically about this romance between Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, who are like two people in a couple, haven't gotten married, haven't had kids, they're sort of, they haven't really had the courage to do that yet, but throughout this movie they are on Christmas and they have to go to different family events, they have to go to like Vince Vaughn's mother's house, they have to go to his father's house, they have to go to Reese Witherspoon's mother and father's house. They basically have to go to four different family gathering things in this one Christmas day and throughout this movie I guess they're supposed to learn more about their relationship I guess and it's sort of a comedy that has comedic stuff in it and my gosh, to no surprise, this movie is awful. I didn't even know what Four Christmases was when Tony asked me to do it. I had no idea. I had to like look it up, ask some of my friends about what it was in the first place. And when I watched this movie, I was not surprised at all because the reviews are so bad. And when I saw the movie, I was just like, yeah, this is just <laughs> it's one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen. The thing is though, I did see little bits of potential in this movie because my main thing that is redeeming quality about Four Christmases is Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. While I don't think their romance really works very well, I felt like the two actors were trying. I felt like they could have been likable characters if they were put in the right film, if they had the right script, if they had the right movie surrounding them. I felt like they could have been good characters, but they're stuck in a movie that's really bad. But Easily the best praise I can say with this movie is that Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon are trying. The, per the performances they're giving aren't bad, actually. That's definitely the best thing I can say about Four Christmases. But basically everything else in this movie is trash. Like I mentioned, the romance between the two characters, I didn't really care about it. We're never really given a reason to care about this romance because throughout the movie you're, they're constantly talking about how they don't want to get married, how they don't want to get kids, and you can predict what's going to happen in the end. I don't care about spoilers. I don't know if Tony does, but hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> I'm just going to mention some spoilers. In the end of the movie they do get married and they do have a kid. It's constantly predictable throughout the movie that they're going to do that, and the romance was just so bland and they didn't really have good chemistry. I mean, like I said, the actors are trying. They're giving okay performances, but I just felt like the romance between them didn't really work, we're never really given a reason to care about it, but it's what the whole movie surrounds on. They talk about their relationship, they talk about how they never want to get married, but eventually they do get married, and that's basically the only thing that this movie has to offer. And with a lot of bad comedies that I've reviewed before, I struggle to find things to say about it, because I'd basically just be saying throughout the review that it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. That's basically what I'd be saying throughout a review of a bad comedy. I'm not very good at reviewing bad comedies because that's all I'd be saying. And that is something that I'll just be saying throughout this review because this movie is not funny at all. There wasn't a single moment where I chuckled in this movie or found anything funny. The thing is, I saw jokes that had potential. Like, there's a joke where Vince Vaughn accidentally reveals to a kid that Santa Claus isn't real. And this kid has such a bad reaction to it, he, like, gets all angry. That could have been funny if they did something funny with that. But instead, the kid just strips naked and runs around in the street. What's funny about that? All the humor in this movie feels like it did have potential to be funny, but the way they execute it just felt awkward and weird. I mean, what was funny about that? There's dialogue between Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon that feels very forced and it doesn't feel very believable. The slapstick in this movie doesn't work. There's also a scene where Vince Vaughn falls off the roof. 
that sounds like it could be amazing. But the way they execute that scene was so weird with like a crying baby and a bunch of weird things going on that didn't make the scene funny. I felt like there were so many points in this movie that could have been funny, but they failed. Also, they dragged a lot of big stars in this movie. They dragged in Jon Favreau as one of Vince Vaughn's brothers. Why was he in this movie? <laughs> When I saw the cast of this movie, I was like, oh, hey, Jon Favreau, he's an awesome guy. Maybe he can redeem this movie, but no. His character was so obnoxious and annoying. I love Jon Favreau as a director, and he's a really good actor, too. But in this movie, he's just like, ah, really cringy, really annoying. Jon Voight was dragged into this movie for, like, the last ten minutes. It's like, why would they bring in Jon Voight? You could have picked any actor, but you bring in Jon Voight? What? The mom from Elf is in this movie as well, and she's really annoying. It's just like this movie was a movie that had potential that I thought could have been good. But everything is just executed so horribly. If this was written by a very funny, comedic person and it was directed by a good director, I felt like the script could have been altered so that the potential worked, and it actually could have been a good movie, and it could have been directed in a way that it would have worked. And I also feel like the romance in this movie should have been better, because this is a movie basically about romance. It's like a romance comedy between Rince Weasley... And that's something you need to care about if your movie's surrounding about it, but I just didn't care about their romance. This end, the ending of the movie also gets very sappy and it tries to throw a message in there. And I was just like, I don't care about any of this. I don't care about this serious take on the movie because I didn't care about any of the characters and I didn't care about the romance in the film or anything that was happening. Maybe Tony is going to find more redeeming qualities in this movie because I know that he can, but I only saw like one redeeming quality. So overall, I'm going to give Four Christmases a D minus. <laughs> Definitely one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen. It's not as bad as the Star Wars Hel Holiday Special, which I reviewed on my channel. Oh, geez, that is the worst thing ever. But this thing is definitely one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever seen. All right, Tony, thanks for having me on here. It's really cool that I get to collab with you a fourth time. I think I collab with you fourth time, four times. And it's been really fun collabing with you, buddy, even if this movie was horrible and I hated it. But it was cool collabing with you. Yay! Yeah. Back to you, Tony. Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much, Nate, for reviewing Four Christmases. Okay, let me just get this off of my chest. Four Christmases is an absolutely god-awful Christmas movie. What in the hell happened with this movie? Four Christmases... It's one of the worst Christmas movies I've ever witnessed. Not one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but just as far as a Christmas movie goes, it's one of the absolute worst. I could not believe Vince Vaughn, Reese Witherspoon, two talents agreed to do such a piece of crap script. It is pretty unbelievable on how bad the comedy in this film is. You already have a bad sign already that this was not going to be a good movie just from the opening scene. And the opening scene is because it sets up this entire romance between Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn. But how their romance was introduced has got to be some of the lousiest introductions I've ever seen to a couple's romance in a movie ever. Because Reese Witherspoon, she comes off as a bitch. No, she, no, like, I don't mean that in an offensive way. She literally is a bitch. Because Vince Vaughn, he plays that nice guy in the opening scene. And, you know, he's trying to get Reese Witherspoon to fall in love with him. But Reese Witherspoon uh, has all these demands and Vince Vaughn follows her demands. And that's how they instantly fell in love. And it was just so stupid. That was a, such a stupid way to introduce their romance. You don't believe in their romance. I never felt their romance, to be honest, because of how forced it is. And not to mention that these characters are just so despicable, especially Reese Witherspoon. Vince Vaughn was that nice guy, but because of Reese Witherspoon being more of this bad girl, you know, she's basically has been under the influence of Vince Vaughn. And because of that, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, they've been avoiding their families. Their families are just as much to blame because whereas their characters are not likable, oh my god, their families might be twice as more unlikable. First of all, 
I actually had to write this down because I couldn't believe it. So Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon were actually going to spend a Christmas. Just the two of them going on a tropical vacation, right? So they weren't going to spend Christmas with their families. And of course, the only reason they end up spending time with their families is because they get stuck. That's the only reason why, if it weren't for that, they wouldn't even be bothering having four of these Christmases in basically one day. From Vince Vong's father, to Reese Witherspoon's mother, to Vince Vong's mother, to Reese Witherspoon's father. All four Christmases in one day. And here is what Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vong actually said as a way to lie to their families on why they couldn't make it for Christmas. They have a charity to help little kids. Wow. Talk about going so low at that point. And that's why it was hard for me to really like Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon because they're not married, ironically. They don't want to have any kids because they're not a fan of kids. But then, of course, you can predict later on what's going to happen in this movie. And oh my god, this movie. Once you get to Robert Duvall and Vince Vaughn's brothers, one of them played by John Favreau, which John Favreau, I love you, man. But man, he was so forced in this role. John Favreau actually somehow made me cringe. And that's something I don't want to say about John Favreau because I really like the guy. I do think he's one of the most talented actors actors but he really did make me cringe this is not his best acting work right here to be honest and also i thought just that whole thing with the brothers was obnoxious oh man but the part when we get to reese witherspoon's mother and all her other relatives it is beyond belief here is how bad the comedy is just to give you a few examples so there's literally a scene where John Favreau's wife, I believe, was talking to Reese Witherspoon about breastfeeding. And then John Favreau's wife actually asked Reese Witherspoon if she wanted to feel her breasts, something like that. Really? You're going to ask someone if they want to touch your breasts. Are you for real on that? Also, when you get to Reese Witherspoon's um, mother, you know, the part of the movie where you get to see her mother and all her other relatives, there's literally a scene where she's taking a pregnancy test. Her niece, I believe, she grabs, you know, the stick that women use to take a pregnancy test. Yeah, we have a filler five minute scene where Reese, where Reese Witherspoon is literally chasing after her own knees just to get that pregnancy stick, meet her son like that back. So yeah, ha 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 ha. That was so funny. That was so freaking hysterical. Oh my goodness, it is not. And a lot of the acting and Four Christmases is absolutely terrible. Kristen Chenoweth, who I'm not exactly the biggest fan of, annoyed the hell out of me. Every scene she was in, I really want her to get off the screen. I was so pissed off. This movie already has me pissed off enough already with these characters that are just so annoying, so unlikable. Robert Duvall, what the hell are you doing in this film, Robert Duvall? You are one of the best actors and you agree to do a crappy Christmas movie like Four Christmases. And granted, he's not bad in this film. He's actually pretty good. But, you know, his character as Vince Vong's father, not likable at all. And this film is also extremely predictable. You know where it's going to go, leading to its third act. And while I will say I didn't quite hate the third act as much as I did with the first two acts, the third act still felt incredibly forced. And there's even a couple of scenes dealing with projectile vomiting. And then when you're not with Vince Fong or Reese Witherspoon's family, they just happen to argue in the car, which was just so tiring in my opinion. And then just when the film was actually heartwarming and I was actually buying into it, they somehow have to ruin it with yet another gross out joke, which is at the very ending of the movie. 
Oh my god. Now, I haven't really said my positives yet with this movie, but I'll go ahead and say this. Reese Witherspoon and Vince Fong are actually pretty good in this film. Despite me not liking their characters at all, to be honest, they were actually good in this film. I mean, kudos to them for actually acting well in a script that is just so jarring. So they were good in this film and they definitely do try their best. Like I said, Robert Duvall is actually pretty good in this film. This film does have pretty decent cinematography to say at best. I don't think it's that bad with the cinematography. I think the direction is okay. I don't think it's a badly directed movie. I just think it's okay. And I did appreciate that there was a little bit of heart in the third act. There's one moment specifically with Vince Vaughn and Robert Duvall in the third act that I actually really liked. And I do appreciate them throwing a positive message, even though it's a little too late for that. Uh, but that's all I could really say about Four Christmases as far as positives go, you guys. This movie in no way gets me into the Christmas spirit because all it does is have me angered and also has me absolutely embarrassed. I actually felt embarrassed for some of these talents. I felt embarrassed for Vince Vaughn. I felt embarrassed for Reese Witherspoon. I felt embarrassed for Robert Duvall. Oh, John Voight. I almost forgot to mention him. He appears in the third act. Good to see him, too by the way, but I felt embarrassed for him and I especially felt embarrassed for John Favreau. I was baffled by Four Christmases. This movie, this is a perfect example of how not to do a Christmas movie. You want to watch a Christmas movie done right in my opinion? Watch movies like The Polar Express. Watch movies like Elf. Watch movies like Miracle on 34th Street. It's a Wonderful Life. Many other Christmas movies you can name off of the top of the list that could get you in the holiday spirit way more than something as shitty as Four Christmases. Four Christmases is going to get one out of four stars. I could not stand this movie. It's a Christmas movie that's better off being forgotten in my opinion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Four Christmases. And I would also love to thank my guest star, Nate, from his channel, Stupid Beagle Reviews, for coming here to review Four Christmases. So check out his channel, you guys. Link will be in the description down below. Very great dude. And also, you guys, Go ahead and check out his Star Wars Holiday Special review that he did with WWE Fan 0599. It is a hilarious rant. I thought him and WWE Fan did a great job. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. This is Twenty to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.